This is a story that sure to ruffle some feathers for all of you weather nerds, maybe even just everybody in general. So Philadelphia <laughs> International Airport breaking a record that stands more than 100 years. It's a daily, get this, snowfall record for July. Snowfall what? record for July. Exactly what? So National Weather Service Mount Holly recording a trace of snow yesterday due to hail produced during a round of severe thunderstorms. While this is unusual, it's not unheard of, and the National Weather Service has recorded trace amounts of summer snow due to hail 13 other times since 1911. So this area was under severe thunderstorm morning yesterday afternoon. Just curious, how do you guys feel about this? Does it, should it count towards a snowfall total? I mean, my, my opinion is that since it happened at the airport, it has yeah. to somehow be documented. And so, you, you know how hailstorms are, though. I mean, if we were, if we were, we should task weather presentation with making that trace graphic <laughs> every time we get a hailstorm in the plane. Well, that's going to set so many different records yeah. around. Yeah. Anytime we get hail, especially for the summer months, does that count for it's, snow? It's, to me, it's bizarre. I, I had never really seen anything like yeah, this before. I haven't either. So, I don't know. I kind of was like, who's who put something in your car? I, <laughs> I, mean, I had to yeah. look at their reference guide, the National yeah. Weather Service. I mean, each office has a reference guide. And when, when it comes to reporting, even in the summer months, you have to put at least a zero in the snowfall column. Mm -hmm. So if there is something that's frozen that falls, and if it's hail, it will always be a trace. We're not measuring how much hail accumulates at the surface, but it's, it's an indication that, yes, we had some frozen precipitation. Right. So by that thinking, I get it. But it's not like we had snow in July, which... Uh, I know, I know. It just brings up the whole question, that though. Would that would be Some are thunderstorms that are producing hail at this yeah. point. Does that count for hail or snow every time? Well, because the process is different. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So you talk right. about hail versus snow made. versus sleet versus whatever yeah, form of ice. Yeah, it's frozen again. precipitation, but yeah. Yeah. it just all falls differently. Under that. There's no perfect way, I guess, of, of measuring it, you know? No, and, right. and I guess when it comes to what the Mount Holly office did is they yeah said, okay, let's look at in the in the summer how many times the airport has had hail. Mm -hmm. So we just got a list of the dates where they've had hail right. in, in the summer because we know climate records. It's a great We're office, though, for sure. They do a great yeah. job. They do yeah. a great job. They find the stats, sure. don't they? They sure do. Yeah. God is talking. <laughs>